Here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood considering a surgical pathology patient, kindly tell me how would you manage this patient considering a surgical pathology patient? Yes, I what should hear, be the treatment? Yes, what should be, can you hear me now? What should be the treatment? for yes, this kind yes. of case, uh, considering it surgical pathology station? Or what, what is the management uh, options since, uh, that you can has, offer? Uh, yes. Uh, multiple polyps. Uh, yes. Since she has multiple uh, polyps on colonoscopy and also history, uh, and also she, uh, her father had a history of cancer. Yes. Who died at an early age. I have to consider the diagnosis of the familial adenomatous polyposis. Yes. And uh, for this, I will offer her offer her uh, prophylactic uh, near total colectomy. Yes. At the age of twenty five years. Okay. Uh, so you'll wait for another two years before you'll do this procedure on her. Okay. Can you tell me uh, what causes this condition, yes. familial adiposis? Uh, it is uh, it is uh, a autosomal dominant condition, which yes. is because uh, which is mainly due to the loss of uh, APC gene, which is a tumor suppressor gene. Yes, and uh, that is the main patho pathophysiology behind that. And due to the loss of this tumor suppressor gene, there is a abnormal proliferation of uh, uh, cells, which leads to uh, multiple uh, adenom adenom adenomas, uh, and also. And, in, uh, and resulting to multiple uh, polyps uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the intestine. All right. Can you please tell me this condition is common in, uh, in association with which other condition? Uh, uh, Ulcerative colitis of inflammatory bowel disease. Oh. Okay, yes, yeah, you knew that. All right. Okay, can you please tell me this tumor suppressor gene? Where is it located, or where is it found? How can it be diagnosed? This tumor suppressor gene it, APC. It is found on the long arm of chromosome chromosome five. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is there any other risk factors that you'll consider other than the family history and the polyps of? multiple sizes in the patient. Any other risk factor that you'll consider? Mm, I'll also consider the type type of polyp, ma'am. All right. And maybe the young age? And uh, the age also. Yes. Gender, could that be or no? Okay. Uh, can you tell me uh, what is the most common carcinoma of the colon? The most common carcinoma is adenocarcinoma. Of the colon, okay. Can you define adenoma? Uh, adenoma, it is a, a tumor of the cells that is uh, of the, that is, that originates from the gland or have a glandular pattern. Okay. Uh, what is the criteria for the diagnosis of colon carcinoma? 
mm, we have uh, the Duke's staging ma'am. Yes, there is a staging system. All right. Okay. How do you how do you explain that? Uh, Duke's we have the Duke's A, B, C, and D. In the Duke A, uh, it uh, mainly involves the mucosa and sub limited to mucosa and submucosa. And uh, Duke's B, it uh, involves the uh, mucosa, uh, submucosa, uh, and also uh, it uh, involves the muscular propria, but it doesn't penetrate. And in Duke uh, C, it uh, involves the uh, with the uh, bowel okay. wall. It involves the lymph nodes. Can you please tell me? And uh, Duke. Yes. Can you please tell me, considering the Duke's classification, how would you compare it with TNM classification? Tumor lymph node and uh, yeah, Yes, ma'am. Uh, the Duke uh, uh, Duke A is uh, uh, T1 T1, and uh, and T Duke B, uh, Duke B is T2, and uh, Duke B1 is T2, B, B2 is T3. And if there's a, a lymph node involvement that is C1, there's a N1, that is one to three lymph nodes. And if it is uh, more than four lymph nodes, then it's N2. And Duke D, it's like uh, okay, T, uh, can you there's M1. Can you please mention some extracolonic uh, fact, uh, conditions or extracolonic? Of fat, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, if it is related to Gardner syndrome, which is a form of fat, then there will be mandible osteoma, uh, uh, desmoid tumors, and yes. the sebaceous cyst. If it is in uh, associated with Turcot syndrome, then with the colonic polyps, you will have uh, also brain tumors. Okay. Can you please tell me this patient had uh, was a known case of endometriosis? How is that associated, or what that is? Endometriosis. Yes. It is a. It is a presence of. Uh, uh, it is ectopic uh, presence of endometrial tissue in the site other uh, outside the uterus. Inside, which normally grows inside. Okay. But this now it goes outside. Okay. So why this patient uh, suffers with pain? Uh, it could be because of uh, pelvic pain or, uh, sorry, it, uh, it is uh, because of uh, the, mainly because of uh, the pain is during menstrual cycle usually. Yes. The pain happens during menstrual cycle due to. But you have to explain it. Uh, how this mechanism takes place. All right. Can you uh, please tell me what is the role of Keras gene in this condition? Yes, uh, Keras, uh, Keras gene. It is an oncogene uh, which acts uh, on the uh, ras mapke pathway, and uh, it. Uh, whereby there is, uh, it promotes uh, growth and proliferation of uh, cells in an abnormal manner and also uh, thereby it promotes uh, you, formation of uh, yes, cancer. Yes, is responsible for causing dysplasia. Can you define dysplasia, please? Yes, dysplasia is uh, abnormal, uh, growth of, uh, abnormal growth of uh, cells with the uh, loss of architecture loss of uniformity of cells and, the, and in their architectural orientation. Okay, the, the largest uh, the largest polyp in this patient's case is seven millimeter and it's ulcerated. What do you understand by the term ulcer? What is ulcerated? Also, it is the, also it is the break, uh, break in the continuity of the uh, covering epithelium of the skin and mucous membrane due to the uh, sloughing out of the inflammatory necrotic tissues. How would you determine, uh, determine the malignant potential of adenoma? Malignant potential uh, of adenoma depends on what? The invasion of the basement membrane. A type of adenoma, diameter of adenoma, 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Degree of dysplasia. <laughs> yes, you yes, yes, ma'am, yes. You have to <laughs> focus. All right. If you can please uh, explain what you're looking at now. The image that you're looking uh, at. What this that is, is a this is Perfect. an this is an image of the uh, endoscope showing multiple uh, multiple polyps. Polyps. Now. Yes. Anything else? What is this glistening? Um, and what is this uh, yellow fluid or liquid that you could see at several places? What that is? What could that be? What yeah. is this yellow? This it looks like bile. Okay, very good. And this could be fat. And what is this glistening? This shiny, glistening structure or what could that be? Shining, not sure, ma'am. Okay. Bell is gone. I'm just trying to cover everything, so I'm just asking. All right, thank you. 